Hey guys, I hope that everybody's having a wonderful day. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to be playing a little bit more Netherlands today. I just realized that uh, Russia, whose name is for some reason in Siberia, moderately funny, has uh, since broken alliance with us, which is unfortunate. But it's not a big deal. And uh, I wanted to talk because I know a few episodes ago I uh, had talked about trade. Look, Dutch India. I like it. We had talked about trade and steering. Um, and since then, we have gained quite a bit of trade power over in this area. In uh, this uh, this development over here. So that is certainly something that we want to be working on. So these guys are going to have... It's actually not too bad. Um, so let's pull our armies over here. Looks like we have them working. People are leaving our coalition because this is the we just loaded up the game. And France has announced us as their rival, you sons of guns. Cheeky. So anyways, let's get these guys suppressed. Uh, we need to get as much trade power as we can. Looks like... We don't have a connection up there. So let's just uh, create a connection then, yeah? So instead of you guys going over there, let's have you guys head up here. And that puts us at war with all these guys that we can then take all that clay. Be good. Okay, so uh, yes, today's episode, we are going to be messing around with a little bit of trade to see if we can make things uh, a little more wealthy for us. Because we have money, but I would like a little bit more if I can. 10 inflation. Oh, no. Okay. Well, let me see here. We have admin. We are not quite super far ahead. We are making a lot of money here. Um, guess I'll just go with interest per... Oh, it's only 10 years? Oh, yeah, I can do that. We don't even have any loans, so I don't care about that. Um, Diplo, we're still ahead. Matter of fact... Yeah, Diplo, we're going to finish this idea group out. What sort of policies are we going to get? Uh, nothing actually super useful. The humanist one would be good to rush through because it gives us idea costs, but it's all right. I'm not too stressed about it. I think we'll be fine. Statist or an orangist? Um, looks like we can go with either. Um, 332... Or a 306. We don't need the mill points. Let's just go with the 332. He's usually pretty young. 45. Yeah, it's young enough. Cheaper advisors. All right. We are super rich. And we're going to abolish slavery because we are an enlightened despot. We'll accept Embrace Institution as well. And let's uh, barrage these walls here. Very good. Get a bunch more uh, trade goods th throughout our nation. Very good. Continue to convert this stuff. And uh, it looks like, okay, so let's get these guys out. This white piece is fine. And then these guys are just going to get full annexed. There we go. I'm going to full annex both of them. I don't care. Give me your money. And it will all go to them. Use these guys to suppress some rebels over here. And uh, there we go. So I'm hoping... That these guys will state this up eventually. Do they need to core it? They do. Oh, man. They need to core all this. <gasps> oh, you poor guys. How is this not, like, super unrest? Oh, no separatism. Right. All right. Cool. Well, eventually we will. But for the time being, we have some trade. The issue that I'm a little concerned about... So here's the way that trade steering works is you get more money based... More production based on the amount that you steer. Um, and so one thing I would like to do... We're going to end up decking Molly here. Probably... Uh, have to fight the Ottomans. That's not a big deal. If Prussia joins, I'm, I'm really not worried. Because Prussia will go in and just like spank the auto blob. Uh, so anyways, as long as these guys are all loyal, which they are... It's good. We are going to check this. So we are already steering from over here. Um, St. Lawrence we can't steer out of, but we can do steer through here. So we're already steering to Chesapeake from here. This is good. Our merchant. So all we need to do is try steering to the Caribbean instead. And we're making 9.98. Ooh, yeah, that's a big hit. <laughs> Yeah, look how much money is staying in there. Ooh, yeah, okay. So, let's switch you guys back for now. Um, if that's the case... Get these guys out of here. We don't need them over here. I reckon we don't need to be protecting as much over here. So, let's have, like, half you guys head down to the Caribbean. 
and see what that switches us to. Because right now we're at 44. No, I reckon it'll probably go up to like 60. 44 still. 53. Cool. Well. Let's get you over here, Gaspar. Okay, for some reason he's not uh, leaving the area, but that's fine. Let's build some more light ships over here. And we'll try it again in a moment. So we're making 1,000 a month from trade. That's actually nutty. And uh, in the meantime, we want to continue to build these guys in all of our good little vassals lands. The more money, the better. And uh, there's a lot more trade that we could be steering from here. Gonna have to beat up on Malacca, who's actually getting beat up on right now. I'd call in the Mams. Ming would join. I'm not too worried about Ming, to be honest with you. Uh, do we have a navy over here? We do in South Africa. Uh, let's upgrade those ships. We don't have any ships to really upgrade. Um, let's get... We don't have any money. So let's go one month. I think we need to build a couple more heavies in here. So let's build like 10 more heavies. That should be fine. Any trade to be built? Nope, we're good. All right. So we also need to make sure that we are taking a look at all of these guys. Make sure we're building as many as we can. That'd be very good for our income. And uh, says I'm missing one. Usually it will turn red if you can't. Oh, right. There we go. Let's build these guys here. Increases goods produced in all of our trade company lands. This guy over here, that's not super useful, but if we use it later on, if we take any clay up here in, oh, it's Jireen or whatever. It's whatever. Not too fussed about it. Level f eight forts. We should probably build a couple of them. I would like to build them. Oh yeah, none of these are cored up. My vas my poor vassals lands. Um, let's build one there. That way nobody can come in from Mexico. Trading in coal, goods produced. Very good. Now take a look at our income. Should go up a decent bit. Yeah, just went up. Is that an extra? No, it was only 10. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Oh my goodness gracious. Chat, I forgot about this. I forgot about the goods produced over here. Let's go. Time to build some furnaces. Uh, let's get rid of the textile manufacturing. Whenever the trade good changes, you have to switch it over. It's going to give us even more goods produced. Um, a couple of them in the new world over here. Britain is so good. There's so much coal in Britain. You'll love to see it happen. And now we have all of it under our control. Each of those furnaces is going to give us another 5% goods produced, which is wonderful. And uh, let's see here. would like to attack New Spain. We don't have a truce with him. That would allow us to concede this entire area if we do a colonial region. So let's do it. Uh-huh. Have you guys come over here and we'll just have these guys march on down and go siege down Espana. People are... Truces are up. We don't have any colonial or any um, particularly bad unrest. Uh, I think we just ripped through the idea group. No problem for me. The improved relations is actually really nice. 30% too. That helps us uh, with uh, reducing... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, aggressive expansion, which is super nice. Very useful. There we go. Get you guys down there. Now, these guys should handle it all on their own. I reckon, the, especially if we are um, subsidizing them, they should have units. Uh, Colombia's got 28. Mexico's only got 28. West Indies have 60. Not bad. 42, 23, 24, 30. So they should be good. I'd be very surprised if they weren't, but I'll um I'll send these units down to help out as well. Okay, apparently we don't have access down there. Oh, there's a fort down here. That's why. Very good. These heavies are building up eventually. We have a couple more furnaces we need to get sorted out. So make sure that we um Build that up there. We have another one over here. 
Ooh, I want this one too. Portugal and the Commonwealth. Damn. That actually would be a great way to shorten up our truce with the Commonwealth, or with Portugal. We don't really need to, though. Building up our light ships down here. How's trade looking now? We're up to 61%. Once we get up to like 70, I think it would be good because we'll be able to steer a ton. We're probably going to also need to protect trade over there as well. How much... Um, so we're still at 81%. We could definitely get higher over here. When As soon as we're done with this war, we're going to upgrade all these centers of trade. And then uh, we could also steer from here, which would help out with our trade steering as well. But uh, it's not its not a huge deal. We'll get it eventually, and that's, that's the main thing you need to keep in mind. A lot of people think that if you're not doing something immediately this moment, that it's not going to be effective in the long term. Come down here, wipe them out. There we go. Where are those rebels at? French Colombian separatists. They should be fine. They should handle it themselves. I'm not too concerned about it. So we need to make sure that we are taking the war goal here. Chichitaba Dominus. Which is... This fort that I took. Very good. I should be able to have him concede colonial region. Yes. And Eastern America, which is like one province over here and one province right there. Very good. He's got one province over there. Yeah, see, concede colonial region is much better for aggressive expansion. Now, I think I need to also take a couple of provinces up here to uh, get us another nation that we can have them concede to. We really need to get better forts up here, though, to protect our vassals' lands. Eventually. Eventually, we will. Recall you. Okay, we also need to make sure we go siege down his capital. No reason not to, right? Cherokee separatists. Goodness gracious. The natives are fighting us. Catholic zealots. Where are they at? Down here. That's funny. I don't care about his rebels. As long as they're not uh, going to make make me lose money, I don't particularly mind, honestly. Carpus siege these guys down here. We'll get this board over here as well. Army tradition is good. I will gladly take it. Get you guys over here. I want the oranges in power, please. Very good. Not bad. We're going to be able to do this super easy as well. Just going to have to occupy a couple of provinces over here. Let his war exhaustion stack up just a little bit. Looks like we're winning some naval battles. Sounds good. More war score. He's on low enthusiasm now, which is wonderful. And, uh, oh yeah, we could totally do this, right? Wow. Okay. Um, so, I need to get five at least. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. They, I'm actually going to go for ten. So we can get an extra merchant right off the rip. Um, okay, so this is all Colonial Canada. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's do something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Something like that. It's fine. A little bit of diplo is no big deal. That's definitely what we're gonna do here. We're winning sieges over here. Very good. Continue to carpet siege. And uh, once we win these sieges over here, we will definitely be able to get the peace we're looking for. Toledo is occupied. To be honest with you, I don't know how his vassals are still loyal. Doesn't seem like they should be, but apparently they are <laughs> for reasons. Come on, win Valencia. Win it. There we go. There we go. Siege down the rest of mainland España. And we should be able to get it done. Very good. Totally. And uh, just to add insult to injury, I'll give make sure he gives me war reps. Boom. How about it? Take that. And uh, there we go. And our trade is super cheap. Look at this. Three, 316 for the for a Diplo. Dip, Diplo tech. So I have to core up five of them. I just took the idea. But uh, all you do is you just... Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, that was an accident. One, two, three, four, five. At least we got the five here. I should I meant to take those for myself. Instead, I gave them to my other nation. Oh, the border gore. The border gore chat. Ah, it was an accident, I swear. <laughs> uh, yeah, because whenever they occupy it, they take it, they they claim it for themselves. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. That's really funny, actually, though. 
I'm not even upset. I think it's funny. And then we need one more core, and the Colonial Nation will core the, the last one. Sadly, it's a 40 admin core, but that's not a big deal. It's fine. One more month. There we go. Oop, I thought I clicked that. There we go. That'll get done eventually. So there's probably some unrest over here because the Mexican provinces always get a lot of unrest. Yes. So let's uh, just get our dudes over here and have them suppress these rebels because they're going to have a lot of them. Sadly, there's some in provinces that I can't really reach. So I'm not really sure what to think about that one. Wow, these guys have a lot of unrest. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Have these guys suppress the entirety of the North American continent, barring Mexico. That way, if there are rebels, namely separatists, they will not break free. Look at all this border gore over here. Holy crap. I regret nothing. Alright, so where are we at on trade over here? 62%. Um, so these light ships are not actually grouping up with them. So that's not correct. I wonder why they're not. Hmm. Yeah, it's not correct, but it's not a huge deal. Ah, of course they spawned over there. There's going to be rebels every single month for the foreseeable future down here. Because they also have a crazy amount of overextension, I believe. Overextension plus 10 national unrest plus 15 rebel sentiment. 36%. That's actually hilarious. Let's uh, upgrade these heavies in our main battle fleet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some rebels down there. Uh, where did this other army go? Okay. As long as they don't get too occupied and, and break to the rebels, that's all I really care about. They should be handling some of them themselves as well. There we go. They're attacking us. We should be fine, honestly. I don't care about Spain's opinion of me. Couldn't give a damn. Even if I wanted to. One more idea group. Or idea and we'll be finished up with that one. Get down here and suppress the Mexicans. France, why not? Now, I gotta take these guys out. Very good. Good news. Free admin mana. I like free mana. You guys know how I feel about that. Um, sure, let's go with like reinforced limit, uh, reinforced rate. It doesn't matter to me, honestly. Uh, I can pay for that. We are very, 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 very rich. Keep the production coming over here. Keep the trade power coming over here. Build more production over here. Do I have my auto clicker on? I did not. The production efficiency is super nice. Everybody is richer for this, you know? Even if it's only like 0.3 a month, I'm still going to build it in every province that I can. Especially because we can afford it. And then... Um, build the conscription centers and all of my vassals lands that way they will build big juicy fort or uh, force limits sure manpower as well why not looks like we're gonna max out on mill mana and we're 13 years ahead on tech so uh safe to say it's time to do some dev look at that just gained 20 some thousand max manpower these guys will handle all these rebels down here. They are taking out a couple of forts, which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. There we go. Not bad. So, yeah, these... It says there's supposed to be trade ships coming in here. I don't see any of them. I don't know where they're growing or building up. Okay, yeah, so it's just not correct. Get rid of the Statesman, I don't mind. If we can get a Trader, it's actually even better. So, grab you. Uh, as far as mana goes... 
He's pretty balanced, but he's a little old. So I guess we just stay on Diplo. That way we can get more production. We'll take you. Improve relations 20%. Helps out with, um, what's we call it? Um, aggressive expansion ticking down. Um, Republican tradition, tax modifier. Monthly autonomy change is okay. Promoted cultures, institution spread. I don't think we need any of these. That's fine. No point in spending the mana if we don't need to. The monthly mana, that is. So, let's just get lots and lots of trade ships built up on our own then. Just click these buttons over here. There we go. And we'll, we'll get them spread out accordingly. Enlarge the university. That's a lot of money. No problem. Let's do it. As soon as we finish up this last core, we'll grab it. And then Dutch Canada will form and we'll be able to yoink Spanish Canada eventually as well. Portuguese Louisiana. Our truce with them is up in two years. And it's about time we conceded French Colombia and French Mexico as well. So let's actually build another, let's build a colonial stack down here. Our force limit will certainly allow it. Our force limit is up to almost a million. Three quarters of a million. Not bad. Get these guys grouped up over here. No point in having them down there. Obviously, whenever we fight the French, we're going to need quite a few more men. New Hollandia. We're going to need quite a few men on the main front. So, get you guys grouped up over here. Let's have you protect trade in... Let's go with um, Chesapeake. Have the rest of you guys over here. Not you. Protect trade in the Caribbean. And then once we get enough, I will gladly steer through the Caribbean into our home node. 66%. That's it. It needs to go up. It has to go up more than that. Get you guys here. Get them all together. Have you guys go protect trade in the Caribbean as well. Objective, let's go with... Artillery bonus is probably my, my favorite in the game. 65, 67. What's our trade income up to now? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at it, the UI is broken. We have 94% here. So we don't really need these guys protecting anymore. So let's have you guys protect trade in the Caribbean. And if that is the case, if we can get it up high enough. We're only at 66. It needs to go up. Why is it not going up? Hmm. We are not really getting a whole lot more than what we did before. Uh, do we need more trade over here? We definitely need more trade in the Cote d'Ivoire, so let's do that as well. Ivy, Ivory Coast. Sixty-five still. Right, and we also need to upgrade all of these guys. I said I was going to do that, and then I didn't, so let's do that real quick. And that should give us a few extra ducats a month. Nope, we lost 20. No big deal. <laughs> um, now we don't need you guys all doing that. Just a couple of them. Let's have one on mm, allies. And let's try with our seven, 69. Nice. 68 up here. So let's try steering through here. See how that goes. So we're making 1174. It's going down still. Hmm. We're also needing to steer through here. What about like, instead of Gujarat, yeah. Because Gujarat is still not useful for us. So we were at 1174 before. It's just that a lot of it is staying over here. Look at this. A lot of it is staying in here. Holy crap. Okay, so let's get some more ships. We can literally afford like 200 more ships. So there's no reason to not do it. Our goal is 1174 through the new world. 
This also makes our vassals rich, which is nice, you know. Nothing wrong with that. Is this cord yet? Nope. Nice, mercantilism. Truce with Portugal is over. Can I attack these guys? We can. Let's do it. And I'm going to have him concede. Ooh, Brazil is actually independent now. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chile is also independent now. Whew. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll at least take all of this. Which is going to give us more trade to steer. It's fine. So, get these guys queued up. And uh, as soon as we have access, we're just going to beeline it down and beat up on these guys down here. And... Transport pleats are... No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, yeah. As soon as these light ships are done, we'll be able to do that. Um, I just wanted mill access through France. My vassals, generally your vassals, will get you mill access. You just kind of kind of sit on it. And then meanwhile, my vassals will be sieging them down in the New World. No problem. So we're going to have him... I can't have him concede anything, but I can have him give me one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll have him key and concede all these later on. One, two, three, four, five. Then can't have him concede. La oh, oh, right, Chile. It's weird that he it can't have him concede the stuff that's up here, though. Anyways, that's the goal. 20, 20 war score, totally doable. Um, and then I also want this stuff over here because this the spice must flow through us, and that, that'll do it. So I hope you guys are enjoying. Make sure you share your support, leave a like, all that fun stuff. Subscribe, ding the bell. Check us out over at uh, twitch.tv slash Chewy Shoot. And we have a VODs channel. If you don't want to do that, going to be linked in the description below. If you want to support us like a true Chad, Patreon linked in the description below, as well as our Discord if you want to join that cool community over there. But that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Make sure you check out a couple of those videos linked on the right. Don't forget to subscribe. And a big special thanks to the February patrons of the month. Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, M. Dressel, Thara, Blonde Damon, Corbett, T. Jarden, Barkenglad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, RJ Pilot, and Stolier. I appreciate your guys' support.